What up, my people? All right, here is some water. It's supposed to be water. I'm trying to check and see if the head gasket is blown. This is one good sign to see if your head gasket is blown. Now this reservoir is on top of the coolant reservoir. I got the cap off and I got a special funnel that allows the water to come up into this big funnel without making a mess. And you can see how bubbly it is and you can see how foamy it is, especially around the edges. That is definitely not supposed to be in the cooling system, but the thing that lets me know that the head gasket is bad is the constant bubbling. You see it's giving constant bubbles. The reason it's giving constant bubbles is because it's pressure that's created in the cylinders. Whether you got four, you got eight, 10, 12, whatever. There's pressure in those cylinders to um, create combustion. And when pressure escapes around the uh, head gasket, I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but when that pressure escapes the head gasket, it sends it into the cooling system, which in turn sends it back up into this reservoir right here. The head gasket sits in between the block and the head, and essentially it seals in pressure, and it also creates a wall for the oil and the water. I mean, it creates a wall for the antifreeze so it does not get into the combustion chamber. Then when it comes into the combustion chamber, it creates white smoke that come out the back of the um, your car because the, the engine is trying to to ignite gasoline and it's trying to ignite the water or the antifreeze also. And that's what creates the white smoke out the back of the tailpipe. But like I was saying, this is one sure sign to let me know that the head gasket is bad. And even if it wasn't bad, that's pretty nasty and need to be changed out. But that's your tip for the day. If you think you got a blown head gasket, you can open your reservoir, but just do it if it's Try to do it when it's cool, because it'll do it whether it's cool or hot. Open your reservoir and then start the engine. And if it continuously bubbles like that and it's not pushing air out, that means you got a blown head gasket. There's other factors that contribute to a blown head gasket also, but this is one way you can tell. Peace.